Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're continuing on with our locomotive build. As you guys can see right here, we've changed the color back to white primarily, and we've added a funnel. We also actually added a spotlight on the top as well, and uh, everything actually looks pretty good now, which is, is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, this thing doesn't currently move. Like, it isn't powered by steam just yet. So I think what we'll do today is actually try and get that sorted. Uh, another thing as well is on this little cow catcher, I think that's what these are called, uh, we're going to go ahead and try and create some gaps in this to try and make it cooler. Um, whether that's going to actually work or not, I'm not so sure, but we're going to do that anyway. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and start deleting some stuff and try and make some holes in this to uh, hopefully make it look quite nice. So, I think we're going to delete that guy right there, we're going to delete this guy right here, and I actually feel like we need to do a lot more than that. So maybe even like, oh, delete those guys there, there we go, good, and these guys right here, there we go, okay, fine. And then maybe we can get away with just doing this, uh, somewhat like that, there you go, delete that guy, okay, good, do the same thing here, I guess, yeah, sure. And we can leave it a lot like this, I think that's probably okay. I'm assuming that's okay anyway, I don't know. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that right there, and now we've got gaps in it. Is that normal? Does that look okay? I think that looks very weird. <laughs> I'm not sure how you feel about this, but yeah. Uh, we'd actually end up having to delete this guy and this guy, there we go. And delete a lot of that as well, just so we can put this guy right here like this. Um, how do I feel about that? I actually don't know. I have no idea. I feel like it's okay, but at the same time... I feel like what we already had was already okay, so maybe we'll actually put it back to that, but I don't know. What do we think of this? I think that looks strange. Like, very strange. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get working on the actual thing itself on the inside, trying to get this thing to move. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually go directly underneath this and create ourselves a line all the way to the front, uh, just so that we can see all the way down. This has steam out, this also has water in. I need to remember how to actually build one of these, and I really can't remember. So this is going to be kind of tricky to do. But anyway, type in steam, uh, we might be able to get all the things that we need. So we got a boiler already, then we need a turbine? Actually, we don't do a turbine, do we? Because the steam goes from the boiler into the wheels, and then the wheels push us around. That's, that's essentially what happens. So I think that's it. I think that's what we need to do. Steam out is there, steam in is here, so we need the boiler steam to go straight into the wheels, and that's it. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so I think we actually go ahead and we take this, uh, which is our pipeline, obviously. We bring it down to the bottom, which is, is fine. Uh, we'll then actually move it forwards. So do this, do that, and send it this way. Woo! There we go, very nice. We're then going to have it go from there, this direction. We're going to have it go round and in. And hopefully the steam will actually work that way, which I think it will. If we then go to the other side and we have a little look at this, the steam needs to go into there. So it comes out of this one, goes around the previous one, brings it to the other side. We're going to delete those two for right now, delete that guy as well. And we actually need the steam to go in there as well. So down, yes, then backwards, yep, and then in. Okay, right, good. So this is fine. For right now, this is fine. Bosh. So now the steam goes from the boiler. Uh, into the wheels. The wheels then push it around and push it through the other side as well, through the other pistons. And then from there, we need it to go into a condenser, which then cools down the steam, puts it back inside, and sends us. Okay, that seems fine. We also need to attach things to the top of here, which I believe is the firebox. So let's get that sorted too. All right, how do we actually fit a firebox in here? That is a good question. Let's do this uh, over to here real quick. There we go. And firebox, let's see what we can do with this. Uh, I guess the large firebox is something that would work. But also that is absolutely ginormous, so maybe we use the small one. Alright, there we go. Small firebox right there. That's really good actually, that fits. We'll then go ahead and delete this. Get ourselves a hopper. And we'll actually put that directly on top of this. Just a small one, whack that in there. And I think we'll actually be able to put some in backwards too, like this. And actually, if we move this along, we'll be able to put quite a lot of coal in there. That might be a good idea, but at the same time, not sure. Anyway, go ahead and fill that in there like that. Let's go ahead and do something like this, like a shutter, and do that all the way up to the roof. Yeah, okay. This could look good in the end, I suppose. So go from there all the way across to this side. 
uh, if we can. I can't actually get there. But there we go. Okay, good. And that actually looks pretty nice. I like it. All right, so now what we do is we go from here. We need air. We also need exhaust. That's fine. Uh, we have coolant. We also have other coolant. So our coolant actually has to go into the top of this. Um, that should be relatively easy to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly pipe this in. And then I'll be back with you guys once it's done. Okay, so there we go. I've attached those onto there just like so. And that should be fine. Now, if we leave it like this, how much coal do we actually have uh, inside the belly of the beast? Let's go have a little look, shall we? Uh, I've got no way of actually getting up to there just yet, but let's go ahead and climb in and see. We got 54. That'll actually do for a little while, actually. So I I'm okay with that. That's fine. Okay, so now what we got to do then is have the steam come out of here, which is the uh, the steam pistons. We go to steam and we check what we actually have here. So uh, those don't actually matter. Those don't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. The boiler, we've already got one. A condenser, I think, is the thing we need. Uh, and maybe we can run two condensers or something like that, and that'd be cool. So, what does that actually do? Water out, and steam in. So, steam in needs to be on that side, and that's okay. This then needs to be cooled down using a cooler, and that'll be okay too. Okay, right. So, in order to actually do what we want to do then, let's go ahead and get rid of this on both sides, actually. So, from there, all the way down, we don't need it. Do, 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 do. All the way to... Oh, actually, we need it there. We do need it there, but we don't need it here. Uh, so that's fine. Okay, right, good. Leave that like that. So, now what I'm going to do is grab this. We're going to go from here, out sideways, just like so. And we're going to get our condensers. Okie dokie. Smash those on top of there like that. And that'll be fine. So steam goes into each of these. It comes out as water. The water goes together and goes into this side of the boiler. So, I'm going to quickly pipe that real quick. And we'll see if it works. Okay, so they're all actually piped together already. That is fine. Uh, now what we need to do is cool these guys down somehow. And I'm not entirely sure how I want it to work. I think what I will do, uh, since this is actually open to the outside anyway, we'll get ourselves a radiator and we'll actually make it a 3x3 three three one. That's fine. And we'll put it right here uh, at the front, just like, I guess just like this. There you go. So one of these will go off one side and go into there, one of them will go off the other side and go into here, and that should cool it down, maybe. Okay, so, uh, pipe that off that way, pipe this off this way, go ahead and send that forwards, and send this one forwards also. There we go, very good. We're then going to grab this guy, and go from there inwards, and go from here inwards too. There we go, nice. Alright, so what are the other things that we actually need then? Exhaust needs to go to the front, and air needs to go wherever we want it, it doesn't actually matter. So what we might do is... Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know for now, actually. Uh, the exhaust can go straight out, though, so let's go ahead and send it straight forwards. Uh, just like so. Down right here. Um, just like that. We'll go underneath and... Oh, should we go over? I think we can fit it over, so we might actually do that. Um, send it sideways, in fact. Do, 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 do. There we go, good. Then send it upwards, just like so. Send it upwards, one, two, and that's fine, I think. And then send it backwards, or forwards, I should say, all the way to the end, where the funnel is. And send it up through the funnel and out the top. There we go. That's it. Nice. Actually, we'll send it out this bit first. So, do this. Go up there. Do -do 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 -do. Send a straight pipe directly up through there as well. Here we go. From there up to here. And then put ourselves a fluid port directly on the top. Hopefully, this will work. I'm assuming it will. Oh, we're at the limit. We're actually at the limit. Oh, we might be able to move it down slightly. Oh, that was lucky. That was actually very lucky. Uh, this other side will be for the release of other steam, I think. So we'll leave it like that. All right, is that everything that we actually needed? I think that might be. It might actually be. Um, I could also put one of those there. All right, that's fine. That is actually probably fine. Okay, so before we do anything else, uh, I know that there are no measures in here to stop it from exploding. But what we're going to do is jump up, get inside... And essentially just send it. We're just going to go ahead and make sure that, that it does actually move uh, with what we've already done. I'm assuming it will, but I genuinely don't know. So we just got to sit here and wait and see what happens. All right, so the exhaust is currently working. That is very, very nice. There you go. The exhaust is turning to the smoke because we are burning coal. And then as soon as it gets hot enough, it should start moving the wheels. Once it's moved the wheels, it should actually send itself out. And that would be great. It is going to explode, though, because there is no pressure sensor in there that will stop it from exploding. But 
Let's go ahead and see if it moves. Um, I'm hoping that it will. <laughs> but I actually don't know. Let's have a little look, see what kind of pressure we've got on this. Uh, temperature is really high, okay. I can't see the pressure because that's actually the boiler which is inside. Ah. I wish I could see that now, but I can't. But what I could do is teleport in here and see what the pressure's like. Here we go. So we're almost at the temperature. And then as soon as that gets up to temperature, it should start moving. Alright, hang on. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, is the train going to move? I don't know. Yes, there we go. Okay, the wheel spin is a thing. That's fine. But it is actually moving now. And that is awesome. Guys, we got it working. We've actually got the train working. That's fantastic. And it's actually pretty quick too. Nice. Okay, it is going to explode very soon though. So that's a thing. We need to put some safety measures in. And uh, once we get safety measures, that'll be it. That'll be fine. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'm actually really pleased with its speed. It does seem to be going actually pretty quick, which is awesome. We can still see out the sides, which is also very, very nice. And that's all you really need to do. Good. We actually got it working, guys. So, I think what I'll do is I'll put in some safety measures in my own time. Uh, get this thing working nicely. And then we'll build the tender together. We'll build the rest of this together as well. We'll do the interior. And we'll try and make it look good too. Um, and that's it. I, I was surprised, I am actually surprised, that it's getting this far. This is actually kind of insane. Like, it is very, very much insane. It's properly going for it, like. Ha diggity dog! Anyway, I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.